Hey everyone, this is again Mohamed Azam from the Azam Sharp channel and in this particular tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a splash screen in your iOS application. Okay, now splash screen is of course a screen that is splash on the page, on the view and it appears for a certain time and then of course goes to a different view where the user can interact with the application. Now you might ask that, hey, what will be the scratch splash screen about? What will it display? It can display anything you like. It can display images, text, blah, blah, blah. Who cares, right? So here we go. Um, now, well, did I create anything? Here we go. So we have a splash screen. This one will be our splash screen. And it uh, consists of a label. All right. We go. So that's the label. You cannot really see the label, but it's in centered in the X or the width and centered in the Y, the vertical and horizontal. And the uh, it all it says NS magazine. Now the way it is, it's not really white color. The way it is is that the alpha is actually zero. Okay, as you can see, it's right over here. And we are creating a very simple splash screen it's going to fade in and it's going to fade out you know that's pretty much what this is going to do and then when it fades out it's going to of course uh, go goes to this particular screen which is your home page or whatever you want to call it so let's go ahead and uh, get started this is the view controller basically which is associated with that splash screen page uh, the first thing I need to do is to schedule a timer, all right? Uh, because it will be firing at maybe two seconds. Target itself, selector, and uh, what we're going to do over here, we're going to say is show message, okay? User info, nil, and then repeats, no, because we don't really want our timer to repeat we just want this a one-time deal so I'm just going to implement this method which is called uh, show message timer okay there we go so this is a method and of course the label on the screen is uh, is stored in the outlet it's called message label so that my view controller can access it so let's go ahead and implement this. So how are we going to do that? We're going to use UI view animation and we are going to say, okay, animation with duration 2.0, which means two seconds. And let's remove that. Self dot message label dot alpha equal to 1.0. And we are done, right? So our alpha was 0.0 .0, .0, which means that it's not going to be appearing on the screen and now uh, with this our alpha is 1.0 so that means it will appear on the screen so we'll wait oops cannot believe it we wrote like two lines of code and uh, we got an exception isn't that crazy what did I do wrong let's see there we go. So we need to add that since it is taking a parameter or sending a parameter. So here we go, NS Magazine, and it will stick there. It's not going to fade out, right? And of course, we didn't go to the next screen, which is our home page or the home screen. So how we can fix that? There are different methods that you can use for the UI view animation block. One of them is uh, animation with duration and then completion which means that when it completes it's going to fire something so we're going to use that we are not going to use this one okay here we go and in this one we can say self dot message label dot alpha equal to 1.0 and in the completion, we are going to fade it out. Message label dot alpha equal to 0, 0.0. Cool, right? So let's run it again and see the effect. Two seconds pass. We can see our message and bump. 
oops what happened it just gone right I mean it didn't really fade out it just it was just wiped out so we cannot really use this so let's go ahead and say UI view so we are firing another block inside the block animation with duration 2.0 which is two seconds it's just cool to say 2.0 I guess self dot message label blah 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 alpha equal to 0, 0.0 don't worry about the code I will uh, have all the code on uh, codepaste.net so you can actually download this so let's go ahead and run this now and here we go we have our NS magazine splash screen and it fades out so that's nice but hmm, it didn't really go to the next screen it didn't really go to the home screen where the user will interact with the application right so do you know what to do hmm we did just did that right we're just going to do it again the UI view animation with duration 2.0 2 seconds This will be the last video of the night. It's getting pretty late from my point of view. I wake up early, so that's why it's getting late. Self dot message label dot alpha equal to 0, 0.0. And we have to so if you go ahead and look at the iPhone storyboard, we have the storyboard. And let's see what the name is. It's called a home storyboard. Let's go over here. We're going to say home view controller equal to this self dot storyboard. We are just going to load that particular storyboard that we have using the identifier. And in the end, we're just going to say navigation controller and then push. Animated, sure done right let's go ahead and run this so there we go it fires we have a nice animation comes in NS magazine it fades out and nothing happens weird right so why didn't anything happen we did everything right can you see can you spot the problem it's right in front of your eyes great so we don't have a navigation controller in it so I'm just gonna add a navigation controller so it can move forward or back let's go ahead and run this there's our navigation controller the toolbar and BAM it goes to the front view and of course when you reach this particular view you have to hide this because there's no point of going back to the splash screen right so you can hide this and that's uh, that's pretty much it um, that's how you implement a very simple splash screen and as you learn that this is a very simple splash screen which is doing a fade in and fade out effect uh, you can use the same concept you can do anything that you like you can do some crazy stuff spinning stuff jumping stuff whatever you want but that is the basic scenario or the basic architecture so as of how you create a simple splash screen in iOS hope you like this video and uh, thank you very much and keep watching